everybody, welcome back to our channel Kono Pro. In this video, we're going to be going over how to build a foundation for a house miniature style. We're basically doing it the same way you do it for a big house. So stay tuned, we're going to be going over some tips and remember to subscribe and share with everybody. everybody hope you're enjoying the video you see right there I'm going to be installing a little sleeve for my drainage pipe you always have to have a sleeve when it goes through a footing Now we're going to insert our little drainage pipe into the sleeve that goes through the footing and you want to make sure you wrap any section that's in contact with the concrete with the foam and then seal your sleeve as well so concrete cannot go in or dirt can't go into your sleeve. And then you want to also make sure everything is compacted properly and you might have to do a soil samples test. And then also make sure you have your vent and your drain and then you lay down some base with 3 quarter inch gravel. And then you lay down your moisture barrier, which that is right there.
this mini house is coming out really cool. So we have our base down with our three quarter inch gravel below our moisture barrier, which is that plastic. And then we have our sand, and then we're gonna put our dobies, and then we're gonna put our reinforcement steel. Now in this case, I couldn't find rebar this scale, so I used some 16 gauge wire as my reinforcement steel, basically as my rebar. So what we got going on is we made our grid, basically a typical 16 by 16 inch grid, um, number four rebar, staggered and everything. So we got that all locked in. And then we have our side foundations with our pads and we have all our rebar there. Now the dobies are to keep all of your reinforcement steel minimum three inches off of the ground. You don't want any steel touching in contact with the soil. And you see those corners right there? You're supposed to have a 90 degree bend on your rebar. Um, connecting those all your four corners and typically you'll have two layers of rebar depending on how big your foundation is and what the plans are calling out for as far as load goes but this is just to give you an idea on how to do it getting the forms done and of course this is a little different than the way you do forms in real scale but it's what I can do with this build so after you do all your forms and you have your forms done you're gonna want to go through and you're gonna want to clean up any loose dirt that fell down in your footings and it has in contact with your steel before your pour and make sure you have any last inserts ready to go which is like that little box that was a little box that goes around my my drain in my vent pipe right there so that way we can attach a p-trap and install a tub or a toilet whichever the plans call out for Alright everybody, we're getting our J-bolts in. Typically our J-bolts or your hold downs are typically installed on some hangers which attach to your forms with duplex nails. And in this case, the concrete's wet, we're just popping in our J-bolts. And these are going to be to hold down our little exterior plate that we're going to be putting on this little mini house. It's going to be awesome. But typically there'll be a detail on your plans that tell you your spacing for your J-bolts and your hold downs. You have to pay attention to that because it's very important. Um, another thing to your J-bolts, you typically don't want them 10 inches from any splices on your mud sill plate um, and from the corners. So just things like that. And then once you figure out your spacing for your plans, your structural plans, then you'll be good. And you set all your J-bolts and you're good. Sometimes you actually do have to set J-bolts in this fashion. When you're doing a huge slab, you'll have form Let's say as you have a shear wall in the middle of this slab here, then what you do is you run a 2 by or a 2 by 6 or 4, whatever it is, and you run it all the way across from form to form, and then you run all your J-bolts per your plan, and then once all the concrete's poured, you have to put on some boots, step into the middle of the concrete, 
and then you remove the form but right before you remove the form you pop off your hangers and you set your j-bolt right down in the concrete right in front of the form where it's laid out on your form and then you just pull out the wood form and all your bolts will be right there in the concrete and then you just have to finish off of course where you're standing and you'll be good to go all right we're about to pop off these forms and of course this is not standard forms but it's for a little mini house so this is the way I decided to do it but remember everybody please subscribe follow up on our channel we're gonna have some more of this little mini build we're gonna be building the house out of wood um, and also we'll be probably roofing it doing all sorts of cool things to this little house and it's gonna be exciting so please stay tuned follow up with more videos on Kono Pro remember to subscribe and like and leave a comment everybody Kono Pro out peace